Most people think of dinosaurs as big, ferocious and extinct reptiles. And they are kind of right. But there are some misconceptions. Dinosaurs came in all shapes and sizes, and dinosaurs were the largest land animals of all time, but a great number of dinosaurs were smaller than a turkey. <coughs> and a turkey. Yeah, I'm talking about the animal, not the country. Oh, thank you. Smaller than a turkey. Dinosaurs first appeared between 247 and 240 million years ago. They ruled the Earth for about 175 million years until an extinction event 65.5 million years ago, wiping out all of them. Scientists don't entirely agree on what happened, but extinction likely was a double or a triple wave thing involving an asteroid impact, choking chemicals, erupting volcanoes, climate change and possible other factors. And for the people in the back, climate change and possible other factors or I must say, for the people in the north. But hey, people, don't worry! Only the classic big dinosaurs are extinct. Because birds are living dinosaurs, or at least most experts believe that. So think of that the next time a pigeon stares at you or any other big bird. Yep. Fossils show that some of more advanced dinosaurs had feather or feathery-like body covering, but many of them didn't fly and probably didn't even glide. Archaeopteryx, which was for a long time considered to be the first bird, and we are not really sure because, you know, science, could likely launch itself from the ground but probably couldn't fly far. According to an unpublished research presented at the 2016 Society of Vertebrate Paleontology meeting in Salt Lake City, Utah, said these feathers likely help these bird like dinosaurs stay warm as juveniles or send signals to other individuals. But dinosaur fossils were first recognized in the 19th century. In 1942, paleontologist Richard Owen coined the term dinosaur, derived from the Greek dinos meaning terrible or fearfully great and saurus meaning lizard or reptile. A scientist classified dinosaurs into orders, saurischians or ornithorischians based on the structure of their bones in their hips. Most of the well-known dinosaurs like the Tyrannosaurus rex and the Velociraptors are saurischian. Meanwhile, ornithorischian dinosaurs include horned and frilled triceratops, spiked stegosaurus, and armored ankylosaurus, and other planeters. Vegans. But this year, a study published in the journal Nature suggests that this hip oriented classification was incorrect, and everything that I just said is a big fat lie. But if the updated tree is correct, it might explain why therapods have feathers while other dinosaurs don't. But anyway, hypothesis takes time and it would be tested and blah blah blah, and other scientific stuff, blah 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 blah. Also, in another subject, despite of the popularity of the Jurassic Park franchise, it would be like super hard, if not impossible, to clone a dinosaur. Because in order to clone a dinosaur, researchers will need a dinosaur DNA, but there is no known surviving dinosaur DNA on the record. Even though researchers have recovered a number of soft tissues from the Mesozoic era, this can be used to clone animals. So I'm so sorry guys, but no Jurassic Park. So that's it. I uh, hope you guys like it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. Don't forget to visit thebiologistofprints.com and check out my main channel that is in Spanish and I'll see you guys on the next video.